Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss an interesting case that came in the office. A, um, a lady came in the office today complaining of severe irritation and redness of her eye. It turns out that she had very dry eyes uh, and actually dries to the point that actually cell walls on the surface of her eye had actually decomposed and when we put a dye in your eye, we can put a different kinds of dye that stain those cell walls that are broken down. And she had several areas on her eye, especially the cornea, where the cells had, have, um, have actually died and uh, not survived due to the dryness of her eye. After taking a history, she was also complaining of her uh, mouth being very dry as well and also had a history of rheumatoid arthritis. So when we put those three things together, that is called Sjogren's Syndrome. Sjogren's Syndrome was first described by a, a doctor in Sweden, and he noticed that a lot of the ladies who were coming into his office were complaining of dry eyes and dry mouth, and they were having arthritis problems, and he was the first to describe this triad of Sjogren's Syndrome. Um, so what is Sjogren's Syndrome? Sjogren's syndrome is an autoimmune disease in which the glands of the mouth and the eyes become uh, inflamed and stop, stop producing their fluid. Uh, and so being an autoimmune disease, it's a lot of times very difficult to diagnose that because there's other types of autoimmune diseases. That's the reason why there's an association with rheumatoid arthritis, which is also an autoimmune disease. Other things such as lupus, scleroderma, uh, those diseases are the same type of thing. And so it's very difficult sometimes to um, figure out in the beginning whether someone has Sjogren's syndrome or some other type of autoimmune disease. Um, there are blood tests that we can do that uh, can help diagnose Sjogren's syndrome. That is ANA or anti-nuclear body test. Uh, which is typically, in most cases of Sjogren's, elevated, but um, that does, it's not specific. So it doesn't tell you that Sjogren's, it just tells you that there's inflammation in the body. The same thing with rheumatoid factor, and the same thing with, which is a SED rate. A SED rate is measuring how much inflammation is in someone's body. It is a non-specific test, so it just tells you that there is a problem going on, but not what that is. If there is really a concern about trying to diagnose Sjogren's syndrome, sort of the final uh, thing to do is to actually take a biopsy inside the lower lip of one of the glands and see if there are inflammatory cells inside that gland, and therefore that way we could diagnose uh, specifically that this person has Sjogren's syndrome. As far as the eyes go, <clears throat> These people tend to get, in a lot of cases, severe dry eyes to the point that sometimes the cornea or the clear part of the eye actually becomes scarred and actually can blur the vision or cause a loss of vision permanently. Uh, that's not very often, but it can happen. But Sjogren's syndrome dry eye patients are very difficult to treat, uh, and so they're they uh, take a lot of uh, care and a lot of time and effort to try to get them comfortable. Uh, one thing that does seem to help, in, in my hands at least, has been putting these people on Restasis, which is an uh, eye drop for dry eyes. It seems that the anti-inflammatory effects of the uh, Restasis that helps with the dry eyes also helps with dry eyes associated with Sjogren's, at least in, in my experience. Um, there's other things that we can do. You can plug up the tear ducts to try to keep the tears in, up on the surface of the eye instead of draining away into the nose. Uh, and then, of course, there's a variety of different kinds of tear drops uh, that are available. Sjogren's can also cause other problems in other parts of your body. So uh, I've had one severe case that actually had central nervous system, that is brain effects, inflammatory uh, process in their brain from Sjogren's syndrome. So uh, it can affect different parts of the body, the kidneys, the intestines, and those kind of things. You can get very dry skin as well uh, uh, with Sjogren's syndrome. So Sjogren's syndrome can be a, a, really, pro a really severe problem in some people. Uh, and um, you know, this lady, we're going to start on a regimen of restasis and tears and, and see how she does. 
And uh, if uh, you have any questions about uh, what we discuss here on Case of the Day, you can contact us through the website. Um, the, um, yeah, we'd be happy to try to answer any questions that you have and try to make this a sort of a, an informative and, and maybe sometimes fun um, um, time together. Um, maybe in the future we'll start discussing things about different types of glasses and frames and, and what to do about choosing the right type of lens. So uh, we've got all kinds of things coming up in the future. May God bless each and every one of you with great vision and healthy eyes.